condensation polymer. What are condensation polymers? Well, we know what a polymer is. A polymer is made when lots of small molecules called monomers join together. Okay, so here are some imaginary monomer, little molecules. When they polymerize, when they join together in large numbers, not just two or three, but hundreds and thousands, we end up with a substance called a polymer. The question is, how do they join together? And the answer is, there are two methods. Monomers can join together by a process called addition. An addition is when these have carbon to carbon double bonds present. So addition polymers are formed when the little molecules burst the double bonds and join together. But that's what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with condensation polymer. And as you might recall, condensation has a special meaning. Condensation reaction in chemistry implies losing water. And that's what we're dealing with here. These molecules must join together by losing water. As the water comes out, they link together. So, we're not looking at carbon to carbon double bonds, we're looking at little molecules which have the potential to join together by losing water. Next question. What kind of polymers are we talking about here? What, what sort of examples could we have? Well, there are three typical condensation polymers you'll meet in this course. There are polyester. There's a word again, an ester, all over the place. Polyester. Then there's polyamides. And as we'll discover later, polyamides include Kevlar, nylon, protein. They're all much the same, really. And then finally, the odd one out, a tricky one in the end, is one called phenol formaldehyde. Fashion name for this polymer, and it's one that we'll leave a good bit later. I think we should focus on polyester. So let's look at polyester. It's the same old story. If we're dealing with a polyester, we can understand its chemistry if we remember the chemistry of an ester. So here's this recipe once again. The recipe for making an ester is to start with an acid a carboxylic acid and react with an alcohol. We've seen this several times now. When these join together, we get an ester plus water. We've met ordinary esters, which are used for perfumes, solvents and food flavorings. We've met fats and oils. They were unusual because the, the acid is very big in the fats and oils and the alcohol would, was a triple alcohol. So what makes a polyester? Well, if we want a polyester, then we need a particular kind of acid and a particular kind of alcohol. You see, in a normal ester, one acid molecule and one alcohol molecule join together. So we end up with an acid joined to an alcohol, end of story, ester. But if we want a polyester, we want it to happen repeatedly. We want Acid, alcohol, acid, alcohol, acid, alcohol, again and again and again. How can we achieve that? You see from the simple diagram that the acid will have to be able to join at both ends. Likewise, the alcohol, alcohols will have to be able to join at both ends. We need molecules with the potential not to make one bond, but with two bonds. When an acid reacts, it's the functional group, the COOH, the carboxyl group which reacts. So how can this join at both ends? Oh, that's the simple. Put a second carboxyl group in the molecule. If we have an acid which has a COOH at both ends, then both ends can join. Same goes with the alcohol. An alcohol reacts because it has an OH group, a hydroxyl group. But if we had an alcohol that had two OH groups, one at each end, then both ends of the molecule could react. And now we see this is a potential to behave like that, and this is a potential to behave like that. If we arrange these, 
uh, acid, alcohol, acid, then we can start to construct a polyester. So here's another one of these acids. Now, these acids, with two acid groups, are called diacids, for obvious reasons. Diamine 2. And the alcohol, with its two OH groups, is called a diol. A diol, two alcohol units, diacid. Diacid, diol. Diacid, diol. Again and again and again. Now, it's all in place. Let's join it together. When they join together, it's the same old story. And that same old story being, they join by losing water. There we can lose water. Again, here we can lose water. H2O. Again, we'll be losing water. And again, we'll be losing water. This process could happen many, many times over, not making one ester, but a polyester. If we join these together, as always, most of the molecule is unchanged. It's just the functional groups which undergo a change. So this functional group will lose its OH. Where the OH was is a join. And then we come to the alcohol, which has also lost something. There we are. Just have to think clearly. There's the join CO, join to OC. COOC, typical ester chemistry. Same again. We'll form a, form a bond here. Okay, a little mistake on my part there, I see. That's not very good. What I should have done is to say that the water came out of there. Okay, the water comes out of that position. So, there's what's left of the alcohol. We lose the water. There's the joint. That's where the alcohol molecule ends. And the acid molecule is going to fit in there. COOC. This is ester. Let me just keep this up. Let's do this a thousand times more. And we'll have a polyester. Something like this. Here's this acid. We have that. Maybe. So, there we have polyester. It's called a condensation formula because when these join together, lose water. Now, on that point, Although we're saying that condensation involves molecules joining by losing water, there is an alternative. Sometimes we might have a little change to the molecule, something like this. Let's say, for example, there was a chlorine there. Let's say there was a chlorine there. Again, a chlorine. And a chlorine. It wouldn't be water that was lost, but we don't have the potential to lose water. You can see we'll lose something else. Another small molecule instead, we'll lose HCl, hydrogen chloride. The principle is the same. Condensation reactions involve molecules joining together by losing water, or if not water, some other small molecule, such as HCl. If it happens many times over, you'll end up with a polymer, in this case, a polyester.